This is the Zach Asbury Show. Regarding going back to autonomy, I place, I, I have this autonomy at my school to, to position my teaching where I want in, in, in my schedule, right? So if I want to teach on the afternoons, I yeah. can do that instead oh, of them. So wow. what I did last year, and I expect I can do the same this year, I decided to teach only in the afternoons. And so every morning from 11, 11 a.m. to noon, I go to my basement, I exercise, and I can tell you that when I, I, when I am in the classroom or in my office to do some research, I am much more uh, joyful, enthusiastic, dynamic, and so on. And it's better for me, but it's also better for the others because the interaction, I guess, with me are more uh, are nicer than if I was like depressed and, you know, without any uh, joy in my mind. Yeah. And I think that's a really good point because say, say for example, you're giving a two hour lecture. Mm -hmm. Even if you're watching a very good movie that's had a lot of production, a lot of money put into it, you know, produced in say Hollywood, yeah. to have that attention span for two hours is quite hard. It's, yeah. L yeah. Let alone trying to educate the audience at the same time. Yeah. So I very much feel that um, when you give a lecture, it's mm. kind of this blur between education and entertainment. Exactly. And you can't deliver that ed entertainment part of things if you're mopey, if you're depressed, if exactly. your tone yeah. of voice is very yeah. flat today, class. Yeah. You have to be... And, you know, and this is also something that my, for instance, I do have some colleagues who complain about that because... Mm, they believe that what the students rate, because we are rated as teachers, right? Yeah, yeah. What they rate is not how much knowledge they have been provided with, but yeah. how entertaining was the sessions. And some of my colleagues are not really, you know, that kind, that kind of guys. They don't have that personality. Yeah. yeah. So it's really difficult. And I do have some, fr I do have some friends, for instance, who do not understand that my teaching load can be, for instance, uh, 120 hours of teaching per year. Mm -hmm. They believe that it's not enough. But I tell them, okay, but it's not being, it's not like being in front of a computer for, for 120 hours. It's being in front of an audience yeah. who has some expectations and you have to, to achieve some kind of performance. Mm. You, you, you cannot just go there, talk and, you know, leave the room. It's not the way it is. I mean, I get, I get where you're coming from. Like there's a lot of preparation that goes into a two hour mm -hmm. lecture. You don't just show up. Yeah. A two hour lecture doesn't requires just come like 10 hours of preparation. Of, of preparation. Yeah. I mean, that's like saying Usain Bolt just shows up and runs for nine and a half seconds and wins a gold medal at the Olympics. Yeah, That's yeah. crazy. Yeah. Look at all the hours of preparation and exactly. he's only able to win and to dominate the sport for, for 12 years yeah. because of all of the, the pre preparation. Exactly. And that's what happens. If you go and you deliver a, a very good seminar yeah. or a good, yeah. very good lecture, it's because of the hours yeah. and hours of preparation. And, and even after there is some work, because yes. if you ask some people to work on a case study, for instance, you have to check the case studies exactly. and you have to uh, grade them. Yeah. So... Yeah, it's not. It's a very specific job, uh, in terms of m on many aspects, from autonomy to uh, preparation to physical um, presence, for instance. But yeah, it's still, it's very interesting. So, one hundred and twenty hours must mean that you're very research heavy. Yeah, I um, do have less than yeah. 120. <laughs> and, and, and I think that's something that people who don't operate in academia don't understand. Um, and I've, I've just started to explain this to my mm -hmm. dad, which is he thinks that my job is to stand in front of an audience yeah. all day, every day and talk yeah. about marketing. Yeah. Whereas that's mm -hmm. my family, it's about 10% of my job. Yeah, exactly. Um, and my our real job is to create new knowledge to, yeah. to teach, you know, other yeah. masters and PhD yeah. students, and um, that's ultimately what we created to do: is to create new, mm -hmm. to new knowledge. Um, so, uh, is that? Have you always been in that position, no. or have you always? Have you? Did you start off with a more teaching? Yeah, heavy yeah, life? sure. Yeah. yeah. So, my, so I work in Bordeaux at Catch, but mm -hmm. before that, I I was uh, at 
the school of uh, business in Troyes. Okay, mm -hmm. so my very first position. Uh, and so I guess I had something like 180 hours of teaching. Mm -hmm. So less time for research, more time, you know, in the classroom. Just, just to give everyone, I suppose, a bit of context, 180 hours. So if you had a semester, is yeah. that one or two classes or three? Or I couldn't. can't remember I anymore. know that. So usually, usually... Uh, we teach 30 hours per discipline, let's okay. say. So I have, for instance, uh, so that would be that would be six different courses. Yeah. Throughout the year. Yeah. 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 So, so that's, um, that's, that's reasonably high. I yeah. Think, um, but I do have some colleagues who teach like 250. But they must be only Very, teaching. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they try to do some research to it, diminish the... Teaching it's, load. It's and, very difficult yeah, once you're, uh, yeah, from what I've noticed yeah. by looking around, once your, you know, your teaching load increases, increases, yeah, it's very yeah, difficult to go yeah, back to research. Exactly. So what I did is, so then I decided to move to another school, uh, you know, better ranking and also in Bordeaux. So, <laughs> yeah. And so at that time, my teaching load was 140. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then we merged with another business school. And so we had some kind of new rules, you know, uh, explaining how the teaching load can be, uh, can be, can change with your research achievements. And so I, I had the opportunity to, uh, to, uh, it, so if I did some a lot of research, and if my research was published uh, over three years in good journals, and so I had the opportunity to reduce my teaching load from 140 to 120 or even 90. Yeah. yeah. And so I did my best. <laughs> and so I needed, so it's not exactly the same as in Australia, but I needed five CNRS stars which means about five JBR okay. Okay, over so, three years. So in Australia, that's five A-ranking journals. Okay. Um, we're currently going through a process of reevaluating all of those. Yeah. So I'm kind of hoping that the journals that I have Bs in get, yeah, get yeah, moved sure. to A's. Yeah. Promotion. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, so okay. I did manage to... So, so you needed five of those papers, which, yeah. is a, which is quite a significant amount of publications for a year. Yeah, it's not easy. No. Not for a year, for three years. For three over years, so three five years. over three years. Yeah. Okay, so on so average... So it, uh, it could be, for instance, it's not linear, okay? Yeah. So it could be 15 very bad journals, okay? Or it could be one JM and one... Uh, let's say journal of retailing and consumer services. Yeah. Okay. So, so JM being journal of marketing. Yeah. 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 Sorry. Um, so I did that, and uh, my teaching load was uh, ninety per year. That's a good reduction. So yeah. that's about two classes. Yeah. 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 And so from that time, I do my best <laughs> to keep this teaching load, uh, and this is likely to to change next year because of the research dean proposition you know i have been received this proposition of being the research dean ah oh, oh you didn't know no i did okay. not congratulations oh, oh thanks uh, i'm yeah. assuming that's a position you wanted absolutely not you didn't want it oh no or my my commiserations then <laughs> no 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 i didn't want it because i was i i so i have two kids and i really wanted to uh, spend some time with my kids uh this is something I value uh, the most, and uh, and I, I I I really have this feeling that I, I I had found the nice balance between my professional life and my personal life, and this is about to change, and so I really have to find a way to have my position as a research dean not to affect my personal life yeah. and to still keep me able to publish actually so it's gonna be it's gonna be i guess it's gonna be a lot of work and uh maybe it's gonna take some time to find the you know my routine to achieve my goal of you know finding a balance between professional and personal life